to the spooky edition of the Hickson Update. I'm Ethan. And I'm a smile. Our first story is about a creepy NFL game. In a Chargers Browns game, a very interesting screen shut up. That's right. Every number on the top of the screen was either a one or a three. That's a little scary. Our next story is about an interesting store rule. A Pennsylvania grocery store put up a sign in their eggs section. The sign said that no miners can buy eggs between the dates of October 24th and November 1st. It's, it is a precautionary measure to prevent kids egging houses. That's a pretty extraordinary idea. <laughs> it's not. Oh. Well, that's all for this week. See you next time on The Higson Update. Today I am not talking about a book but a movie based on the books, R.L. Stein's Goosebumps. I saw the movie last Friday and I thought it was amazing. It shows all the characters that R.L. Stein wrote about in his books. My favorite part is when he's teaching a class and he says a good story has three things, a beginning, a middle, and a twist. I think the movie has those three things. Go see it in theaters now. I'm Colby and I'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Sam Ely. And I'm Evan. And, and welcome, welcome to Freaky Facts. Sam Hanophobia is the fear of Halloween. England declared November 5th Guy Fox Night to commemorate the capture and extinction of Guy Fox. Foucault conspired to blow up the parliament in 1605 in order to restore a Catholic king. And finally, did you know that Harry Houdini was a, one of the most famous and mysterious magicians who had ever lived? Strangely enough, he died in 1926 on Halloween night from three punches to his stomach. What a wimp. I'm Sam Ely. And I'm Evan Palmer. Hey guys, welcome back to BE Entertainment. Oh, and also we are changing the name of the show to BE Entertainment. Today we are going to do a Halloween special. So we are going to be talking about top five scary movies that you should watch for Halloween. Top number five, The Shining. Number four, Poltergeist. Number three, Paranormal Activity Movies. Number two, The Conjuring. Number one, The Scream Series. I am going to quickly introduce about how now you can simply approach me or Bailey if you want to be a guest on one of our shows. Also, Bailey is my new co-host. See you next week on BE Entertainment. Hey, Hickson. Welcome to HS. The Webster Statesman had an astonishing upset of the Ladue Rams in the first round of the playoffs, winning 28 to nothing. Uh, 28 to 20. The Statesman visit Pattonville this Friday, open, hoping to continue their postseason. The eighth grade junior Statesman defeated Archival Kirkwood by a score of 32 to nothing, and plays North Northwest in the first round of the playoffs. The World Series begins this week with the Royals hosting the Mets in the first two games of this first two games this Tuesday and Wednesday. The Mets swept the Cubs four to nothing in the National League Championship Series, while the Royals prevailed over the Toronto Blue Jays four to two in a high-scoring American League Championship Series. The Missouri Tigers continued the losing streak, failing to Vanderbilt 10 to 3 in a low-scoring game. The 4-4 Tigers take on the 25th ranked Mississippi State Bulldogs in Columbia this Saturday. The St. Louis Rams had a huge victory over the Cleveland Browns, winning 24 to 6 and moved to 3 and 3. The Rams take on the San Francisco 49ers next Sunday at the Edward Jones Domes. In honor of Halloween here in a couple days, uh, a, a few crazy fans who went to extreme lengths to support their teams. Darth Bronco and these crazy New Orleans Saints fans dressed as a Halo character and a Transformer. Thanks all, Hickson. See you next time on Double HS. Hey guys, it's Gwen with your latest news and weather. Today's weather is 63 degrees, and shockingly, it's mostly sunny. We haven't had those days in a while. Have a good weekend, everyone. Hey guys, welcome to the, to the Daily Drug Show uh, with your host, Justice Hammonds. But I'm not going to do any jokes this week because I have a special announcement to make. So, uh, you know that I do uh, Vine Time and the, uh, Death Battle Votes, right? So, I'm moving the, uh, those uh, bits uh, to a separate show so that I can do more footage uh, for the Daily Joke Show. Hello and welcome back to Fizz Day Legends. Legends. 
Today's legend comes from McHilton, Alabama. It is the face in the courthouse window. This legend is about a former slave who was freed at the end of the Civil War. His name was Henry Wells. The legend says that he was accused of burying the second Pickens Country Courthouse. Uh, the, ve the very first Pickens Country Courthouse was destroyed during Wilson's raid through Alabama. Anyways, the sheriff didn't believe that Henry should die, so he hid him in the top of the courthouse. That night, a mob of people who did not think that Henry was innocent came to find him. As the mob was climbing up the stairs, lightning stru struck the courthouse and killed Henry. Only Henry. And to this day, his face is still imprinted on the window. People have even tried to replace the glass, but the face still remains there. So that will about do it for this episode. Thanks for watching Frizz Day Legends. This is our town of Halloween. This is Halloween.